Senator Richard Burr. He gave an interview that made a lot of news back home uh, about his future plans. That's right. He said this is the last election that he's uh, last election campaign he's going to run. So whatever happens in November, he's either going to be senator for six more years or he's going to retire. And that was surprising for a lot of folks uh, because typically if you say that you're going to uh, you're going to retire, you usually wait until you get reelected to do so. <laughs> right? <laughs> However, um, the, Senator Burr has been someone who has defied conventional wisdom in a lot of different ways over his career. He's uh, not uh, campaigned or politic like a traditional elected official in many, many ways. And uh, yeah, his idea of enjoying a campaign trip is to go out in his car by himself and drive to some event somewhere <laughs> and not let people know he's going to show up. I mean, he's, that's just kind of the way he is. So, uh, But it, it does uh, leave the opportunity for the Democrats to come in and say something along the lines of, well, let's let's make his retirement as early as possible. And so right. That, it's and that's, kind of like a ready-made ad. I think particularly yeah. in that race where you have Deborah Ross, the Democratic candidate, uh, no foreign policy experience that I'm aware of, at least. And, of course, right now, uh, the, all sorts of attention on foreign policy issues and right. terrorism, and that seems to be Burr's wheelhouse. Yeah, that's right. He's chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, which is something that I'm sure we're going to see emphasized a lot in the campaign. But uh, Senator Burr always has impressed me because I followed him back when he was in Congress when I was working in Washington 20 years ago. He's someone who's always impressed me as someone who really wasn't interested in being a career politician. And so he's always uh, marched to the beat of a different drummer, to use a cliche there. And he uh, he's someone who, uh, I mean, it's not exactly uh, textbook campaigning, but that's something, again, that's not surprising from him. 